Crazy Joe here with Big Dog Jimmy. We have a breakdown prediction here for UFC 201 co-main event. It's supposed to be, and I'm hoping that it still happens. It's it's uh, you know quite a bit of ways out there. We have uh, Dimitri Johnson putting up his flyweight championship of the world on July 30th, 2016, and he will be going against Wilson Hayes. Uh, so I believe how they say it. I say Reyes. They say Hayes uh, because um, with the the way they say it, you know with Portuguese I believe it is I could be wrong uh, but anyways so this is gonna be an explosive fight I'm really excited and happy that uh, Wilson is getting this fight he's ranked number eight right now in the flyweight division I was actually surprised that uh, somebody up a little further didn't get the shot um, you know I'm I'm happy for this guy getting the shot but I would have thought uh, Juicy Formiga might have gotten the call. Uh, to fight him instead, but hey, Hayes is uh, going to be a very interesting, tough fight for this man, for Dimitri Mighty Mouse Johnson. So let's go. We know all about Dimitri Johnson. We're going to go over uh, some statistics and um, numbers and whatnot real quick. But he's 24-2 with one uh, draw, I believe that is. Well, Wilson has got 20 wins, 6 losses. He, uh, don't believe he's ever knocked anyone out, so that's interesting. But, um, you know, so, Wilson, he is from, uh, Brazil, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu United, and, uh, Gudo Jiu-Jitsu, I believe is how you say it. He's 31 years old, and he's never knocked anyone out in his, US, in his MMA, uh, career. He does have nine submission wins and he has 11 decision wins so he's really good at that submission game and he can go the distance he's shown it time and time again he's got 15 fights where he's gone the distance and he um, you know whether that be three or five rounds I'm not sure if he has any five round fights under his belt it looks like he has one from 2008 so he's never been submitted he has been knocked out twice in his pro career you know so, uh, a lot more times when it goes to the judges, he wins. He's won 11 times by way of judges' decision, lost four times. He um, is right now just on a one-fight winning streak. He beat Dustin Ortiz by unanimous decision in his last fight. Before that, he lost to Juicy de Silva by unanimous decision. He had beat uh, Scotty Jorgensen by a triangle choke prior to that. Job... Sanchez, he beat him by decision. He lost to uh, Alicantra by split decision. He did have a, was that, five fight win streak before that with multiple submissions in there with the rear naked choke, triangle choke, rear naked choke. So the guy does, you know, he is a finisher. He can finish and he can last and go the distance when necessary. Um, He's got six rear naked chokehold victories. He's got three by arm triangle choke. You know, so that's a pretty big thing there. You know, um, has won eight of his last ten fights. And I'm really excited for this one. It's going to be a very technical fight, I believe. It's going to take, um, a very, it's going to be like, Don, Dimitri, Dimitri Mighty Mouse Johnson is, a badass dude in the flyweight division, and he is a reigning, defending, and only champion in that division. Um, you know, so it's going to be very hard to rip that championship away from him, beat him for it, when he's got five wins by KO, TKO, nine by submission, ten by decision. He's never been stopped. He's never been knocked out, never been submitted. He's lost twice by decision and has a draw. And we know one of those men who beat him by unanimous decision back in 2011 was Dominic Cruz. The other one was Brad Pickett in 2010 in WEC. The other man who, uh, well, that there was a draw was Ian McCall with a majority draw there. They did have a rematch after that and he lost. And Dimitri Moss Johnson won by unanimous decision. You know, he's got multiple wins by rear naked chokehold. The dude's just a beast. It's going to be very fun to see. I'm not sure right now as I speak on who I'm going with. I'm on the fence. 
Dimitri Johnson has nine wins by submission, one with a Kimura, three arm bars, Americana, a guillotine, three new rear naked chokes, and five knockouts. You know, so um, I know a lot of times I go against Dimitri Johnson I because I want to see a new champion. I want to see him. I want to see him be finished for the first time in his career. You know, I want to predict a first ever, uh, and that's what I do a lot here with Crazy Joe's Galaxy. I go out on a limb, and I go for the extreme. I go for the crazy, the unthinkable, what people don't believe would happen, what people don't think would happen. But there's like, no way that won't happen. There are people who will agree with me, but I think the reign is coming to an end, and that Hayes is going to win this one. How is he going to win? Right now, on January 6, 2016, only 3% of people on the UFC pick him is going for him by submission. With 40 uh, 40% of the people who out of the three uh, the three percent of people who are picking him are going by 40% uh, for submission. 97% of the people believe Dimitri Johnson is going to win, and out of those people, 67% believe he's going to win by knockout at the moment on June 6. And we are almost we're less than two months away. I do agree on that submission, but the thing is, is that Demetri Johnson is so tough to take down, to get him down, to hold him down. Um, you know, it was a shocking, uh, shocking way of events, and you never know what's going to happen inside the octagon. He did defeat Henry Cejudo, which I thought was going to win. I didn't think he was going to get taken out like that. Uh, I would like to see a rematch someday with the two of them, but this is about Wilson and Johnson. And I'm going with Dimitri. I'm going with Wilson Hayes, whereas Big Dog Jimmy's like, what are you out of your freaking mind? Are you crazy? Dimitri Johnson is going to beat him and take him out to the woodshed and beat him uh, and knock him out. I don't agree with you, Big Dog Jimmy. I think that Will Wilson Hayes is going to be <clears throat> an unstoppable force against Dimitri Johnson. Dimitri Johnson is going to have that footwork and hitting him, but eventually Dimitri he's going to eventually, I think, do a fake. Uh, you know, he's going to do he's going to hit him. He's going to go with a combination and then swoop in for a takedown. Take Johnson down. End up going over, getting him with a um, with a body triangle lock, and he's going to end up getting him with a rear naked chokehold. I'm calling for. Dimitri, I'm calling for Wilson Reyes to win it in the third round by submission by way of a rear naked chokehold. Will it happen? Time will tell. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you think I'm out of my mind? Do you think I'm right? Do you think Big Dog Jimmy's right with a knockout for Dimitri Johnson over Wilson? Or do you think Wilson's going to win by submission? Leave a comment. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Crazy Joe's Galaxy here for more predictions and much more. Thanks for watching.